So a few months ago, I saw a trailer for a film called Cuck. It looked amateurish, terribly written, and like basically the worst idea for a movie ever. Just like absolute garbage. And I got excited. This is the kind of pathetic attempt at understanding internet culture that instantly memes and becomes classic. Last night I actually decided to open up my Kazaa and download this goddamn thing and let me tell you, it's a doozy. Just a warning, major spoilers ahead, uh, I don't give a shit, spoilers don't ruin a movie watching experience for me, and you're a pussy if you cry about spoilers. We open up with our protagonist, a young Ethan Ralph, wallowing in unemployment, poverty, and uh, just autistic rage. He hates foreigners and women, hangs out at the gun club, lives with his mother, and he runs a YouTube channel where he incoherently rants and cries about shit. He's a chronic masturbator and generally a sad person who eventually gains some minor popularity online, gets hoodwinked into starring in cuck porn. When it all falls apart, he goes on a realistically incompetent killing spree, and that's the end. That's the whole movie. And that's really enough to make a good exploitation movie. I would compare this to like a retro 60s drug movie or a gang movie where the writers and producers had absolutely no experience with the thing they're writing about, but saw it, they, they saw it was becoming part of the culture and quickly try to make a buck on it. And there was some damn good movies like that. Think of Switchblade Sisters or The Warriors. Now, Cuck isn't quite in that category. It suffers from horrendous, terrible writing. It doesn't understand the alt-right. It doesn't understand incels. It doesn't understand the internet. It barely understands masturbation. It just glues together the most basic bitch polisms and, like, stereotypes. Yeah, they think they're scary. Well, you'd be right to be scared of this. That's a fucking thirty-eight Magnum. It's real. Has enough power to kill a grizzly. That's why the liberals want it banned. Yeah. But here's the thing. When the shit hits the fan, when the real bad guys take over, you're gonna want us on your side. When the time comes, you're gonna be begging us for help. But here's the thing. We don't have to do anything for you liberal cucks. You tried to take away our second amendment. So when the fire comes, you're gonna burn. But at times, the writing is so bad it actually matches the main character's autistic thought process. Take this for example. I'd really like it if I was in the military. Special ops. I don't really know much about that. Why the military? Well, what do you mean, why? I'm just curious. <laughs> well, because there's a shitload of threats right now. We're getting threatened all the time and nobody's doing anything. So I want to fight for our country, you know? They need men. I mean, most guys in college today are cucks anyway, you know? They're what? Cuck. You know, cuck, like a, like a, like a pussy. That's a derogatory use of that word. I find it offensive. Pussy? Why? Because you think pussy means weak. Or anything a woman has is less than a man's. Hey, no, I got no problem with pussy. I just mean that men should act like men. You know? I mean, you like real men, right? Admit it, all, all chicks do. Chicks? What? I... <sighs> Nothing is untrue. What I said. I... You really think that you're gonna support yourself with this bullshit arts degree? You know what, I think you would've been a lot more successful if you would've gone to college. What is that supposed to mean? We are not a match. Best of luck. Hey, wait a minute, we can't go anywhere yet. I bought you this fucking coffee. I bought you this. Here, no, look, let look, look. look. I, you, you think you're better than me? Is let, that the- Let go of me! Oh, do, 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 do. She said let go! Hey, man! Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to just trying to talk to her, but you're being a fucking bitch. Yeah, you're being a yeah. fucking bitch. And that's really what saves the movie. The lead actor, he takes this kind of bad character in this pretty bad, awful script, and he sells it completely realistically. He swings violently from Chris Chan style tarred spurgouts to genuinely struggling to express his sincere feelings 
with a limited understanding of what he's trying to say, kind of like a Sargon of a cod. Yes, sir. I mean, that's why I pretty much started my channel, you know. All the problems we're facing, immigrants, all that. Mm. Yeah. I think you follow my views on identity forming cultures, the systemic watering down of the white nation state. How I see it, uh, we gotta have real patriotism. You know, because otherwise anyone could come in here and take this country away. To be honest with you, um, I am sick of the blacks and the Muslims. They're telling us what to do. Yeah. And this movie was sold as a thriller, which it absolutely is not. Nowhere close. It's an artsy, low-budget comedy. At least, when I watched it, my laughs were sincere at just how cruel and needlessly vile the world the director has built is. No one has ever allowed any happiness. No one has allowed a moment of peace. It's just misery and sadness happening to a tubby YouTuber. Which is, by the way, the whole reason anyone watches YouTube anyway. So this world is bleak, it's constantly hostile, and the characters are always just sick and tormented. Yo, clean this shit up, Opie. <laughs> Why the fuck are you guys calling me Opie? Yo, clean this shit up with your tongue, boy. Why don't you go back to Africa with your legs, boy? Yo, what the fuck you just say to me? You heard what I said. Go back to fucking Africa, you fucking nigger. Man, you all right? You niggers! You stupid niggers! And you, you, the both of you, you fucking sand niggers! You're not Americans! And you're ruining this place! Just, just, just get out! You are fired! You hear fired? Get off my property before I call the police! Go back inside. And that's really all I got to say about the movie. I genuinely enjoyed it. I went into it expecting to be bored, to be embarrassed, and just to be begging to turn it off, and none of that happened. It was a fun, silly movie with no bearing on real life. It's ham-fisted, it's stupid, and it's pretty enjoyable. I give it a three and a half out of a possible five. Rubber fists right in the shit pipe. My name is Sidney King. I hate a lot of things. Fruits, colors, and above all, women. Goodbye, mother! <laughs> Beach killer. get these terrible headaches. Bitch killer. The dirtiest, nastiest, sexiest film you'll see all year. <laughs>